Scorched is finally here. It's time to look at what the most important teams are for the new Scorched Earth meta on Ark Survival Ascended. We have some wild new additions for the map that shake it up and change how Scorch is played out. So I've put together the top 10 teams to survive Scorch and build up and prepare for the Scorching Heat and even wilder PvP and raid meta. So these are the Scorched Earth's top 10 teams in no particular order. In number one, we have the Fasilisuchus. The Fasilisuchus, the newest addition along with the Oasis or in this team, has many secret abilities that explorers haven't tapped into just yet. To knock it out, you hit it with a grenade while it's hidden in the sand. And once you've got on top of it to ride it, you ride it into metal nodes, salt and rocks until it passes out completely. Once you tame it, the Fashilo can swim through the sand like it's water. And this lets it manipulate the sand and it can make a whirlpool that actually dismounts any unfortunate players in the circle and it also grounds flyers. So this tame is going to be amazing for PvP. It can also attack from this circle and causes excessive damage. The damage from the Fasilosaurus is twofold as it has an armor debuff that can cause up to 25% armor reduction. So it's great for defending your base and weakening rock elementals or stegosaurus or even grounding and dismounting the riders when they're raiding against you. So this tame is going to be a must have in the PvP meta of Acer going forward. You want a tame like this to defend against enemies soaking your base. Also, if you sit on it in the sand AFK, it will fully submerge itself in the sand eventually to hide. In the next coming months, the Fasilisuchus is going to dominate the arcs. At number two, we have the Rock Elemental. This tame is synonymous with Scorched Earth as it's the one tank to rule them all on this map until you get to tech tier of course. Rock Elemental is easy to knock out with a trap and cannon and you feed it sulfur to tame it. Once it's tamed it can easily drain enemy turrets and heal up when it's in its hidden rock form. It takes huge damage reduction from turrets so this is a must have on Scorched Earth and you'll be able to raid any external base with this until people get to tech tier. So the Rock Elemental is a must have on this map. And that's why the cave meta is the way to survive on this map. Because rock elementals just eat bullets like they're nothing. Literally, they'll drain your base in 10 minutes if you're offline. So don't go offline on Scorched Earth if you're living outside. Coming in at number 3, we have the Wyvern. And the Wyvern again is a must have for Scorched Earth. This team is the non stop shop for your everyday mount. It's great for battle, especially the Fire Wyvern at the moment can burn enemies off the back of their teams. And you can easily pick your enemies if you're whipped off you land on the back of it. So this team's great and it's the fastest flying mount on the map. So you get the eggs in the trench obviously. And the best way to do it is fly into a trap and peel off the wyverns one by one I've found. So if you want you can set up something near the trench. It's very dangerous though. But a shotgun kills wyverns quite fast if you can get them into the right position without dying. So once you've got your egg... The Wyvern is one of the most powerful teams on this map. There's three variations. There's the Fire, Lightning and Poison and they make it very versatile. Poison can pin enemies in and Lightning does huge damage. The other benefits of a good Wyvern is its ability to take down and farm Death Worms for endgame. You can also scout using a Parasaur, which is one of my favorite things to do in Ark. When you join a new server, you want to rush the Wyvern Trench as soon as you can to get ahead as the eggs do take a little while to hatch and raise. The unsuspecting Terror Bird coming in at number 4. The Terror Bird is a must have on the new Scorched Earth meta as the Terror Bird is the only team that will really help you to raid caves on this map. Without it you will struggle as the current meta on Ark means everyone lives in caves. So you need to tame this creature and max its stats so you can run headfirst into your enemy's bases. Terror Birds are really really valuable for this. So do not forget to get yourself some Terror Birds. Next up at number 5 we have the Oasis Saw, and I don't think this controversial team needs much of an intro, but it has even more in store for it, shaking up the gameplay meta and not necessarily in a good way. With the Oasis Saw, not only can you easily tame it with a dead tame soul, but you can also use it to pick up your Titanosaur or Rock Elemental to soak enemy bases that could be found unfortunately outside. Or you can just run right through them as this video shows on Twitter. So this tame has single-handedly ruined any chance of survivors living outside without tech. Some could say it's pay to win, hopefully it gets a little bit of balance at some point. So this tame has changed how Scorch plays completely. 
You want to get an Oasis Saw ASAP. You can also use it to raise dead teams from the enemies you kill and steal breed lines. So it's super powerful. But you do need to buy the DLC to use it. And then you can tide and drop your enemies bases and destroy them like it's nothing. So this is a huge shake up to Scorched Earth meta. All for the cost of $30. Next up, we have the Swiss Army Knife of Ark, and that is the Argentavis. One of the most versatile teams in Ark, combined with the farming teams, the Argent is one of the most common teams in Ark, and it's the team you'll spend most of your time on. With Scorched Earth, there is no Quetzals, so the Argy is the best flyer for farming. And combined with the Anki and Dodic, it can get some work done. It has an inbuilt weight reduction, and it also acts as a portable smithy. So it's really a Swiss Army Knife of a team, and to make it even better, it's a sturdy battle mount and it can hold up against your enemies in, and pick enemies and kill them. The Argent is an invaluable team for Scorched Earth. Make sure you get yours and your Anki and Dodic and you'll be able to farm up your base very fast. Next up, we have the Rex and this team is invaluable on Scorched Earth. This is the meta for fighting the Manticore boss. So you want to make sure to get your Rex army up as soon as possible so you can take on the boss and advance to tech tier. And the Rex is what's going to help you to get there. So tame up your army and send them into the fight. And you'll be in tech in no time. As long as you can push in the caves with your Terra Birds. And once you get the fight done and you get your tech engrams, you can also get the tech saddle for the Rex as well. So this tame's a great battle mount and great for boss fights. So don't forget to get your Rex army so you can become the new king, Squash. At number 8 we've got the Mantis and this team is a great defense mount for cave meta as you can put two clubs in its hands and knock out your enemies if you increase its melee. So the Mantis is a must have for cave defense and it's just a great mount for getting around on. And also if you breed it you can harvest the polymer from it so you can have an easy polymer farm inside of your base on the Scorched Earth. So make sure you get your Mantis army going so you can club out your enemies when they terror bird roll your base. You won't regret it. Next up, we have a really underappreciated team, and that's the Thylakaleo. And this team is great because of its attack, which puts a bleed debuff on your enemies to kill them. It can kill huge teams, including Titanosaur and Rock Elementals. So again, it's great for defense and great for offense. And it's also great for leveling, as if you kill the Titanosaur, you get great levels from it if you finish it with a shotgun. So Thyla can also jump on its enemies, with its pounce maneuver and now it's got the ability to put a cart on the back of it there's some wild things you can do with the cart meta at the moment so make sure you get your five cleo it's also really invaluable for running caves to get the artifacts it's a great mount to have and the bleed debuff is invaluable last but not least we have the micro raptor and vulture i wanted to get some shoulder mounts into this list and these two are great for scorched earth as people are flying on argents and wyverns if you get a micro raptor and you can hit them off, it's the end of the fight for them. You can knock them off their teams mid-fight and then bowl them and kill your enemies. And the Vulture also hits riders off teams. And if you get it to high level, it's pretty strong. Also, if you get in a dire situation, you can put all your loot inside your team and leave it there to survive a little bit longer than your bag might if you can't get back to your death in time. So it's always important to have a shoulder mount on you at all times. So, what do you guys think of my list? Let me know in the comments if you think I've missed any creatures that you think should be on the list. But these are the top 10 teams of Scorched Earth Survival Ascended. I'm working on my playthrough for the map right now, so stay tuned for that. You guys are absolute legends. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you found it helpful, make sure to smash a like on it and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.